Good morning. My name is Matt Pulaski. I'm the Assistant Manager of Quantum Corporate Sales Training at Pride Mobility, and today we'll be going over how to retrofit the automatic fender lights. Okay, the first step what you want to do is you want to make sure your, your chair is elevated so the drive wheels are actually off the ground. Take a 13 millimeter socket and you're going to remove the drive wheels. Okay, so once your drive wheel is off, you take a Phillips head screwdriver and you will and we have to remove the existing fender. Once your fender is removed, you will need your new fender light. Now the difference between what the fender light is, naturally there's a wire coming off of it, but you actually have the fender light attached, actually molded right onto the fender. You want to make sure your wire is routed behind, and we don't want to get to get caught in any suspension. Okay, once that's attached, we're going to re repeat the same, the same process on the other side. And take your Phillips head screwdriver again and remove the existing fender. And then route your wire and attach the fender light the same way. And the good thing is you can use the same, the same screws to mount the, mount the fenders on. Our next step is we're going to remove the thumb screws that hold the, rear, the middle rear shroud onto the base. And we take the rear shroud off, making sure we disconnect the harnesses going from your base to your seating system. What you want to do is take your Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to remove the power module from the base. Once that's actually removed, put the screws off to the side. For the automatic fender lights, you're going to attach the wires into your module. Once your, modules are once your modules are attached, you want to remove the harness that comes out of your power module. So this harness, so the harness on here, you'll notice, you'll notice the same connection. All it does, so this is actually going to replace your existing harness. So then this plugs right into your power module. You're going to put your module up over the top of the power module of the chair. And you put the back shroud back on, making sure all your wires are run through it. Tighten your thumb screws back up. Hook your joystick back up, your eye level harnesses. Place the other side. With the automatic lights, when you press the joystick forward, your lights automatically turn on and they'll stay on until the chair is powered off. Or if you want the lights off while the chair is powered up, and you can turn off the lights using the switch. The other thing is too, when there's an, an attendant control in the system, the lights will be on all the time. That was designed for the attendant so when they power it up, the lights just power right up. If you have any questions regarding the installation, please contact our Quantum Product Support Team at 800-800-8586, extension 5200. Thank you.